Welcome to CSE Guru. In this session, we will discuss the next example to implement while loop. The program is to display odd numbers and even numbers using while loop. So, in this example, first we need to enter n value. So, enter n value. Suppose n value we have entered as 10 in the sense. Up to this 10 number, we need to display the odd numbers and even numbers. So, using the printf statement, display the message odd numbers and even numbers. So, what is the n value we have entered? Up to this n value, we need to display odd numbers separately and even numbers separately. So, here if you are considering up to this 10 value, odd numbers are nothing but 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. And even numbers if you are considering 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10. So, this output we are going to display with the help of this while loop. So, the logic is initially we need to initialize the i variable. i is the loop variable. And then check the condition whether i value is less than or equal to n value. If the condition is true means it will allow the body of the loop to execute once. And using the printf statement it has to display the odd number first and then even number next. So, this i value will display the odd number and this i plus 1 value will display the even number. And then at the end of the body of the loop, update the i variable. So, i plus equal to 2. That is, i we are incrementing by 2 here. The same program to display odd numbers and even numbers, we have traced with the logic using for loop. Now, we are implementing with while loop. So, the equivalent for loop is for initialization is i is equal to 1. Then condition checking, that is, i less than or equal to n. Then the loop updation i plus equal to 2. And then the body of the loop is printf. The same statement we have to include here. So here if we are considering the main difference between for loop and while loop is in while loop initialization one single statement, condition evaluation next statement and then loop updation at the end of the body of the loop. All three done as a single statement. But in for loop, if you are considering, all three done in one single state. This is the main difference. So, now we will trace this while loop logic. So, this is the main logic in this program. So, in this program, first we need to enter n value. n value we have entered as 10. Then, using the printf statement, display the odd numbers and even numbers. This is a message. So, initially, consider the first iteration. So, in this first iteration, if you are considering i value, we need to consider as 1. Then, using this while loop, check the condition whether i value is less than, i value is 1, is less than or equal to n value here we have entered as 10. So, 1 is less than 10, condition is true. Then, it will allow the body of the loop to execute once. So, the body of the loop, there are two statements. One is using the printf statement, display i value for odd number and i plus 1 value for even number. So, here it will display i value is 1 and i plus 1 value is 2. So, in the output screen it will display 1 and 2. So, this slash t is nothing but we have given the tab space here. So, how we want to display the output accordingly we can give this tab space. Next, after printing this i value and i plus 1 value i value gets updated. So, here if you are considering this is initialization, this is loop expression, that is condition evaluation and this is nothing but variable updation. So, here we need to update the variable value. This is nothing but a shorthand assignment statement. The equivalent statement is i is equal to i plus 2. This is the meaning. So, now i is equal to i value is 1, 1 plus 2 is now i value is 3. So, with i value 3, consider the next iteration. So, second iteration if you are considering i value is 3. And next iteration onwards, updated i value only we will consider. So, next iteration, check the condition while i value is 3 here. 3 less than or is equal to n value is 10. So, n value we are not doing any change. We are not updating n value. n value is 10 only. Condition true. 3 is less than 10. Then it will allow the body of the loop to execute once. Using this printf statement, it will print i value and i plus 1 value. So i value here is 3, 
i plus 1 value means it is 4. So in the output screen it will display 3 and 4. Next up, update the i variable. So i is equal to i value is 3 plus 2 means it is 5. Next up, with i value 5 consider the next iteration. Check the condition y i so i is 5 i less than or equal to n value is 10 only. Condition true. Yes, 5 is less than 10. Then it will allow the body of the loop to execute once. So using this printf statement, display i value and i plus 1 value. i value is 5, i plus 1 value is 6. So this will be printed in the output screen. 5 and 6. Next, update the i variable. So i is equal to i value is 5 plus 2. So now we will get it as 7. So with the i value 7, consider the next iteration. So for next iteration, check i value is 7. 7 less than or is equal to n value is 10. Yes, condition true. Then it will allow the body of the loop to execute once. So it will print i value 7 and i plus 1 value 8. So this will be printed in the output screen 7 and 8. 7 for odd number, 8 for even number. At the end of this fourth iteration, update the i value. So i is equal to 7 plus 2. So we will get it as 9. So with i value 9, consider the next iteration. Then check the condition while 9 less than or equal to 10. Condition true. Then it will allow the body of the loop to execute once. And it will print i value and i plus 1 value. So i value is 9 and i plus 1 value is 10. So in the output screen, 9 and 10 will be printed. Next, update the i variable. So i gets incremented to 2. i value we will get it as 11. So for iteration 6, if you are considering, i value is 11. 11 less than or equal to 10. Condition fails. So now the loop will exit. Loop will terminate here and control will transfer to the next statement in the C code. So when the condition fails in the sense, it will not allow the body of the loop to execute. Control will transfer out of the void loop. So loop will terminate here. So next is the return statement and this return statement will return the output in the output screen. So this is the output we will get it for the n value 10. So odd numbers are 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 and even numbers are 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10. So n value we can enter any number here. So accordingly it will consider the iterations. So whenever the condition is true, it will allow the body of the loop to execute. Whenever the condition fails, loop will terminate. So this is the logic of while loop to display odd numbers and even numbers. Thank you for watching this video.